I'm Yaris Lookum23, you're joining me for Vampire Girl 2, Chapter 21. The journey into Stonehill Castle feels like walking through a dream. Behind you, the lingering sounds of battle's aftermath seems muted, as if you, your head is beneath water. This war... ...gone too far. It doesn't matter the cause, nothing is worth this kind of violence. You shake your head and try to drown out your anxieties about the war. You direct all your focus on the task ahead. You need to save Finn. Baron draws at your side, seemingly oblivious to his wounded paw as he leaves wet footprints on the floor. Hey, boy, you're being so strong for Finn. I need you to find... I don't think Cara and Julianne will be able to help. Asher's probably still in the middle of battle, and who knows. Okay, let's try Cal Helen. He's the librarian guy. I'll be in Finn's room. If anyone knows how to help, the old keeper seems most likely. I wish Siri were here, but at least Cal is well-read on most everything. For a moment, you fear that the old Fae may have been evacuated, but Baron bolts off towards the library. After a few moments, he bounds back, behind him trails Cal Helen. As he walks in, you wheel yourself back to human form for just a moment. Princess, what has happened here? Fen's hurt. He, he's, he won't make it unless we heal him. Can you help him, please? I'm afraid I can't. I, I know little of healing, and my magic is still forbidden in these realms. But I may know some people who can aid you or seek help. Where are these people, Cal? Finn doesn't have much time. The old face seems lost in panic, searching for any solution and clinging to the hope that it will work. He scurries away, assuring you that he'll find the healer in time, but you know he is wrong. The healers were the first to evacuate Baron races out behind him. Damn it. Can anyone stay calm in a crisis around her? You feel a release of tension as if your ears have popped and your illusion magic fades. I guess I'm on my own. I need to get Finn somewhere safe. You could just give him your blood. The hell? You managed to carry Finn to his room before you... Your strength leaves you, and you lay him gently on his bed. As you inspect his wounds, you can feel the heat radiating off his ravaged flesh. The cut runs deep. He needs more than herbs and cream. He needs a hospital, an earth one, with skin grafts, surgeons, antibiotics, or at least a magic stronger than mine. I should have... Train with Varus more. Been honest with him from the start. Killed Orin sooner. Yeah, I could agree with that. We should have ended this before things got this bad. You remember how easily Kayla mended Dyson's wounds, despite how restricted her magic was. Dyson was dying too, but with a single spell, she saved him. She brought him back from the brink and gave him a second chance. You remember the way the blood rushed back into his tiny body, and how the wagon flipped back into position as if nothing had happened at all. Maybe one of the Fey servants will have enough talent to keep him alive until more help comes. The healers have been evacuated, but at least some of them know a spell that can help. What I need is a spell to seal his wound, stop the bleeding, ward off infection, keep him stable, break his fever, stop his pain. Uh, I'm gonna go seal his wound, stop the bleeding. It can't be that complex. Someone must have known, must have what I need. You smooth Finn's sweat-soaked hair and sigh. His eyes seem to be twitching under his lids. He's sleeping so fitfully. I just hope he's dreaming of things that make him happy. Like me. I'll come back with help soon, I promise. Oh, touch his face, squeeze his hand, kiss his forehead. You press your lips to his brow, trying to ignore for a moment how cold and pale his skin is. Finn remains motionless, far too deeply unconscious to feel your touch. Don't make that our kiss goodbye, okay? The war is done, so come back to me.
You draw your eyes on your sleeve and slip out the door. The castle is still round you as if Stonehill itself is holding its breath as if it wait to see if it's master's fate. Find a fay, wait for help. Find a fay, wait for help. You can do this. He's gonna be okay. Around a corner and stop mid-stride. Levy stands before you, holding you at sword's point with his outstretched blade. You. You're one of them. Levy, don't do this. You're the high fay. The reason the druids returned. The reason Ace nearly died. You will suffer, as my brother suffered. You'll pay for it all. Takes a step towards you, and you shrink away from the cruel point of a sword. Your breath quickens as you remember the amazing strength the demons have. The strongest person I've met so far is... Lucian. He was able to take me down without even breaking a sweat. Demons are terrifyingly strong. What could Levy do to me? I don't think he's as strong as Fenris. He gives you a menacing glare, rage, seeming to ignite his body with malevolent energy. If I kill you, the druids will slumber once more. Not kind will be safe. Mm. Love you, please. Lunges forward and you barely scamper out of the way of the blade's thrust. As you stumble back down the hall, you see his eyes go wide with shock. A moment later, your back jostles someone, and an arm gently steadies you. You look up and see a smiling down at you. Hello, uh, princess. Ace! Ace puts himself between you and Levy with a few slow steps. He's still pale and weak, and he's walking with a cane. Brother, what is this? Let me pass! I can't do that, Levy. Levy snarls in frustration, gesturing at you with his free hand. You see what she is. She deceived us. A shakes his head and puts his hand on Levy's shoulder. It's over, Levy. Levy's sword lowers slightly as you breathe a sigh of relief. Finally, I guess he... respects Ace enough to let her go. You nearly died. I thought you would... His voice sounds so small now and broken with the grief he's carried for his brother. Ace smiles gently and shakes his head. But I didn't. I'm alive. I came to see my how my brother's fair, only to find you trying to kill the princess. It is the only way we can survive. A sighs and shakes his head, wrapping his arm around you to protect you from his frail body. Have I taught you nothing? There's always another way. He gives your shoulders a little squeeze, smiling faintly as he stares Levy down. I believe I will be claiming my month with Princess Ari starting today. And from now on, she's under my protection. That Ace must be crazy. I'll tell him to leave. Ace, don't. Get out of this castle while you still can. Your wounds are still healing, and Levy is... Not as powerful as his ego would have you believe. Come a single step closer, and you'll be making a grave mistake, brother. What are you saying? It's simple. If you wish to kill her, you'll have to go through me. Oh. Now oh, that one seems super short. Well, without further ado, thanks for watching. Remember to please like, share, and subscribe. It's free! It's free, remember that. And without further ado, you can head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. And I'll catch you all, hopefully, in the next video. Peace.